Hey, what's going on? JD here. Got a quick unboxing for you. We're doing the Resident Evil 2 Zombie All Pro Special Effects Makeup Kit from Mehron uh, and Capcom. So this kit was recommended to me at HorrorCon. I went to a panel where they did a zombie makeup. It was really cool, got super inspired. I've uh, been hanging around with people that love horror movies as much as I do. So I kind of wanted to delve into the makeup side of things because it's not something that I've ever done before. I have friends that uh, do makeup, people like Leanne Mosley who do body paints. I'm an airbrush artist. I want to kind of give it a shot. I kind of wanted to give it a go. So that's what we're going for here. This was recommended uh, as a start off point. So we're just going to jump right into the box. So we've got some good old plastic seal, which is always a pain. But since we're here, we're just going to take the old X-Acto and give it a good start. So do away with the plastic. Looks like it is a slide-out box. And we'll just pop that open. So we've got, looks like an instruction booklet, uh, makeup application instructions, uh, how to use everything from the spirit gum to the putty as well, or the wax. And then of course, how to color it and how to get the end result. There's, so that is the instructions right there. And then of course, a little bit of foam straight into the makeup. So this should have everything that I need done. So we've got three, four brushes here. So we've got a spatula. We've got a, this is probably a splatter brush or I would assume. And two makeup brushes. So we've got the makeup brushes. And it's like a one inch 24 mil splatter brush and the spatula itself. So we've got a little application sponge as well. We've got Sinwax. So the Sinwax there is going to help, you know, sort of create some of those cooler edges in this makeup in particular. If you go by the instructions itself, you're going to have that nose kind of breaking out there. So we've got some non latex foam sponges. And it looks like we've got six of those. And then we have three stipple sponges, which I saw them use in the example at the uh, horror con there to get some of the texture. It was really kind of cool how they did that. So the stipple sponges. And I guess we're getting into makeup. This looks like spirit gum. And it is in fact spirit gum. And then what do we have here? We have barrier spray. So when the makeup is done that uh, there is a little less of the wash away effect. Uh, we've got a good color palette here uh, for bruising. So we've got all the darker colors for bruises. Then we've got some fixative. So if we're gonna do any kind of application, <clears throat> we will use that. And then what do we have here? Okay, we've got spirit gum remover, which is always good. I don't know if you've ever played with that when you were kids. Uh, sometimes sticking things where they shouldn't be stuck. Uh, color set powder, uh, translucent setting powder. We've got liquid makeup. Kind of an off-white. It's got a little bit of a bluish hue, it looks like. Then we've got... Uh, liquid makeup here, and that's definitely a darker color. Uh, we've got some stage blood. So to gore things up, and this looks like some more blood. 
coagulated blood, so this is a little thicker. It's probably a little bit more like a jam consistency used in the application. And again, you know, they went over a lot of these things in the workshop that I was in. Um, we've got a color, we've got some grease paint, color cup, that's a white. And then we've got another grease paint. And this is more of a black. So that's essentially the entire kit. And now this should be enough. And uh, yeah, I, there's supposed to be a poster in here, a limited edition poster. What happened to it? Well, no poster in, oh, here it is. <laughs> if you look kind of weirdly inside the box, I don't know if you can see that, that I guess is your limited edition poster is actually the box cover. But there you go. That is our limited edition poster. So that is basically the kit. So I do have some plans to do some of this makeup. So hopefully we will catch that on film. I do have a short film planned and that's why I have all this stuff. I've got the creative juices flowing. So hopefully tune back in at some other point and you will see us uh, essentially learning to do this. We're gonna have to probably, I guess, do a practice run at some point. But as far as things go, this should be everything. Uh, it was recommended because it is the most complete kit. Uh, you can create that look right there uh, as seen in the Resident Evil zombie game, uh, which is quite a cool look. So thanks for tuning in and until next time, see ya.